Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose XBL. We are here at Fan Expo Canada bringing you our annual video and our coverage on the con. We got lots of stuff to do here today. As you can see right behind me, Batman Arkham VR is here and it is playable. Definitely going to give you guys my hands-on impression of the game. One thing I am super disappointed about is Injustice 2 didn't make it to the show. They advertised it in the magazine and everything, and they didn't just, they couldn't get the game here. I'm upset, but it is what it is. I'm here. We're going to play some Arkham VR. Lots of guests here. Thank you very much. Lots of stuff going on. Lots of people. Stan freaking Lee is right there, and he's doing signings and everything like that. Kevin Conroy himself is also here. Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker, the Joker is also here. I'm definitely going to try and make Kevin Conroy. Mark Hamill is just probably a write-off. But it is what it is. Lots of coverage to do. So let's just get right to it. So we're here at the Batman Arkham VR booth at Fan Expo Canada. So excited, about to try the game. I'll let you guys know what I think of it right after I'm done playing it. All right, so I just got to try Batman Arkham VR. And I know when you watch these videos of people who get their hands on impressions, some of you may think that it's kind of exaggerated. And when you see gameplay and you're watching it online, you don't get the experience that you will when you put on that VR headset, when you are in that world, Kevin Conroy, Batman is speaking in your ear. It is phenomenal guys what I got to play was fantastic we got to go into the Batcave there's a moment where a mirror comes in front of you and you see yourself as the Batman and oh my goodness I was blown away wearing the headset with the VR in front of me you are immersed into the Batman Arkham world there is a second demo that I got to try out which allows me to do a lot of detective work as Batman it's stuff that I won't go too far into but it is amazing guys I am gushing about this I cannot freaking wait you know you guys know me I was making some videos I was very hesitant on buying the VR system for Arkham VR after playing this demo, I think I got to pull the trigger. This was one of the coolest things I've ever tried out. It is absolutely phenomenal. If you are at Fan Expo this weekend and you got to try it out, let me know your thoughts in the comments because, wow, I just, I cannot gush about this anymore. I was absolutely blown away. One of the coolest experiences I've ever had with a video game, and I cannot wait to try this full game out when it comes out in October. So let's get to the rest of the video. To elaborate a little more on my thoughts on Batman Arkham VR, because I feel I was so surrounded by the hype and so blown away that I was almost not even really able to gather my thoughts correctly, uh, this was an extremely amazing experience. You are genuinely immersed into the Arkham universe from the moment that VR headset is on your head. Honestly, there was a part in the game where I'm going down an elevator and I genuinely felt like I was literally going down an elevator. You have a bunch of gadgets that you can use at your disposal. One of them, of course, being the bat claw, one of them being the batarang, and one of them being this forensic scanner that you get to use for a detective mission that I got to try out for Arkham VR and all of them can be put to use in some way shape or form especially of course the forensic scanner you get to do some really good detective work in this game doing some stuff that you don't necessarily get to do in some of the previous Arkham games when it comes to detective work where you have to pay attention and look around you actually genuinely get to move your head and look around at your environment to see what the next clue is to move on with your detective work and i think that is so fantastic it's really immersive and it's going to be amazing when you guys finally get to try it if you are going to be getting 
the PlayStation VR. Like I said, it is a bit of a steep price, so I don't know still if I'm 100% sure if I'm going to pull the trigger on it. But honestly, Batman Arkham VR has made me want to get a PlayStation VR more than I ever have before. So with all that said, let's continue on with the video. And that brings our Fan Expo Canada 2016 video to a close. Thank you guys so much once again for tuning in. This year was a blast. We got to go all four days to Fan Expo. We met a bunch of you guys who watched the channel. So if any of you who met me there are watching this, thank you so much for coming up to me. That makes my day. It makes this all worth it. You know, what I do here on YouTube it makes it all worth it. So that was such a cool experience to actually have some of you come up and recognize me. That was awesome. Honestly, I think I was more excited that you guys knew who I was than you guys were to see me. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And again, what you guys do for this channel day in and day out, I could not appreciate any more. You are the best fans in the freaking world. So with all that said, please... Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like me on Facebook. Those links are in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment if you have an opinion. And subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.